Hey everyone, this is Robin as well, Animation Bliss, and welcome to another Disney Corner. So today's um Disney Corner or Disney movie I'm going to be reviewing today is Wreck and Ralph. And before I get into my thoughts about this movie, I would like to remind everyone that new videos will be posted up every Sunday. It could be Sunday morning, Sunday night, or Sunday evening, depending on when I can get the videos posted up. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that must mean that there was a bit of anime news released during the week that I wanted to cover. So those would be considered special videos. And every Monday, I have the Top 15 Animated Facts series, where I go over 15 facts um, dealing with the animated series that was suggested by the viewers. So tune in every Monday for the Top 15 Animated Facts series. So now let's get into um, talking about Wreck-It Ralph. Um, so what is this movie about? So what this movie is about is about a video game character named Ralph, who was like portrayed as the bad guy in all of his games. And um, he's like in this video game called Fix It Felix, uh, Felix Jr., where Ralph is like the big bad as he um, tears down the buildings that um, Felix, um, that um, he tears down the buildings in the um that neighborhood and fix a Felix comes along and fixes all the buildings. And Ralph is like getting sick and tired of being treated as the bad guy since um apparently the bad guys in the video game world getting treat are treated like horribly by all the people in the video game world. So um Ralph is like, yo, let me go and become a hero for once so I can actually get to live in the big house or be treated with more respect. And so he goes into this um new video game universe that's like called Hero's Duty, um, where he meets up with this lady named Calhoun or Sergeant Calhoun. And um it turns out that when Ralph went into this other universe or to this other game, it turns out that he put his own game in jeopardy because Fix It Felix is like had gone out of the video game to find Ralph because they need Ralph to um keep the game stable. And um if the um, Ralph doesn't get back to his game in time, you know the video game is going to be plugged out, so it would destroy his world. And then um it turns out when Ralph went to Hero's Duty, um the cyborgs bugs or the aliens from that um. The um that video and video game ends up going into Sugar Rush, which was another video game that Ralph ends up in, and he ends up meeting this little girl named Vanellope, and um Vanel it turns out in that world Vanellope is being mistreated by all the other people in Sugar Rush because she's like a glitch, so um she tends to glitch a lot, and she and Ralph become good friends, and um Ralph tries to help her you know become more accepted. And that's pretty much what Wreck and Ralph is all about. It's about Ralph um trying to get out of being the bad guy, but then he ends up causing trouble because um you know of him going to this other video game and then bringing the aliens to Sugar Rush. And that's pretty much what this um movie's all about. So what are my thoughts about Wreck and Ralph? I love this movie. Um, I just love the universe that the um movie was able to incorporate. Like, um, I like the fact that this movie takes place in the video game universe, and we see how video game characters get to live in this universe. Like, we see popular video game characters like Sonic the Hedgehog and the characters from Street Fighter. But luckily, what happens in this um movie is that even though you have popular video game characters like Sonic the Hedgehog and um, the Street Fighter gang in this movie, the movie doesn't really focus on them a lot. It focuses mostly on Wreck and Ralph and Vanellope, and that's how um I like the um story of the movie to be focused on Wreck and Ralph and Vanellope, um because even though they're like characters who are not like famous video game characters or anything like that, um the movie's about their story and um it just focuses on how they're living in this video game universe and they just happen to have like famous video game icons like Sonic the Hedgehog and those um come into this um world to prove to the audience, okay, yeah, this is a video game world, but we're not gonna focus on these popular video game characters. We're gonna focus on Ralph and um Vanellope themselves, um and how they're dealing with living in this type of world. Um the reason why I love this movie so much is, is because it reminds me so much of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was also a movie that features, like, famous cartoon characters like Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse. And um, even though they occupy the world in um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, they're not the main focus of the movie. Like, the main focus of the movie is Eddie Valiant and Roger Rabbit themselves. And they're just um, talking about how those two characters are living in that world where cartoon characters exist in real life. Um, and Wreck-It Ralph is pretty much the same way, you know, um, it's like random characters who live in the video game world or how they're dealing with it and um i like i i enjoy seeing that take on the world and i also like the relationship between ralph and uh, vanellope like it shows that they're both um being ostracized by the people in their own video games like ralph is ostracized because he's the bad guy and uh, vanellope is ostracized because she's a glitch and i like how those two like bond with each other because of all of that and i enjoyed um seeing the relationship grow between the two of them um 
was there an issue I had with this film? Not really. Uh, I thought this film was perfect. Like I thought, um, there wasn't much, um, bad things happening in this film. Like, um, I even like the, the twist with the villain in the end of the movie. I don't want to say um, who it is because I don't want to spoil the movie for those of you who haven't seen it yet. But I really enjoyed that twist. It was such a um, great twist at the end regarding the villain of the movie. And I thought it was so well done. Now, if there was a problem I had with this movie is that it did not win an Oscar um, award. Um, everybody who remember uh, how Wreck-It Ralph went up against Brave in 2012 um, for the Oscars or 2013, however way you're looking at it, um, y'all probably be upset about the fact that Wreck-It Ralph didn't even win the Oscar that year, which was so upsetting because I thought this movie really deserved that Oscar. It was such a creative film and it really utilized all the uh, video game characters so well and I'm just upset that it didn't win the Oscar that year, but oh well. Um, you know, everybody knows that um this movie's still really good, so you know. Uh I, I yeah, I, I can I'll put that behind me for the moment anyway. Um so overall wreck it Ralph is a fantastic film. If you love get, um, movies about video games, I think this is one of those movies that's able to do a video game movie right. Um, it has lots of character development, has lots of good characters. I like the way that they set up the video game universe in this movie and still be more character focused. And I just think it was such a really good movie overall. Um, definitely check out Wreck-It Ralph if you can. It's such a really, it's a, such a fantastic movie if you want to check it out. So that's my review on Wreck-It Ralph. And have you seen Wreck-It Ralph? And if you did, did you love the movie? Did you hate the movie? Please, um, comment below. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter so we can keep you updated and new videos we post up. And also, like our Facebook page. And also support us through Patreon so we can continue to push out great content for this channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ravity Explorer Animation Bliss, and I'll see you later.